Welcome to the Nine Hammers Let's Play of Arma Cold War Assault. Alright, so I am actually a lot more satisfied with my audio quality and levels. Last time there wasn't any sneaking in of the game sound, and that's excellent. So we are going to continue in this vein. And as I release more videos on YouTube, I'm going to be checking the volume levels, and I'm going to be adjusting them from there. So, hopefully soon, we will have that happy medium that we have been searching for. Now, you'll notice that I have cutscene selected instead of take training. That's because this is the same... I'm still at my computer. I actually am rendering Defender right now, doing it in one sitting. I... This is a game that I love to play, so I just want to keep playing, so that's what I'm going to do. Over the last week or so, because things have been busy, I've only been recording one episode a day and uploading it. In the beginning, I actually recorded two episodes a day. I might record two or three in this one go, so this uh this ought to be good so we're going to start the next cutscene we're going to revert to it we're just not ready for this kind of action sir i know i know but ready or not also noticed a serious that I'm... fight ahead of us Oh, oh no. He drives like me. I'm a horrible, horrible, horrible driver. As. Major? Are you okay? As Ghost Gene actually duty, over at Ghost is, LPs will tell you, I'm a horrible, the horrible line. driver. The front line? But, but uh. Sir, I haven't even completed my right now, yeah, we're recording at 30 frames per second instead of the average 60, right but that's just because I've, uh, got on the run. I've got a video true? rendering in the background as I'm playing. Well, they're wearing Russian uniforms and they're driving Russian tanks, but they're fighting like, wow, I ain't never seen nothing like it. You can count on me, sir. I've almost got the hang of steering this thing. I hope so. For your sake and your crew's. Speaking of whom, where are they? They're taking some time off in La Trinity, sir. Well, get yourself and your tank down there and pick them up. Then report to Major Sutherland on the training ground nearby. Also, yes, about the get fact that on. Russian tanks he's here and he hasn't finished training? Speak. How are you anywhere other than... Other than your advanced individual training? How are you anywhere other than there if you haven't completed your training? I don't get it. And you're a lieutenant! Okay, so this is actually the first part of the game where we get to play a character who isn't David Armstrong. We are now Robert Hammer. Hammer. I like that name. As if... We're driving a tank, and it's time to lay the hammer down. Now, tank training. The Soviets have got us on the run to hit back we need tanks, and officers to command them. Officers like you, Lieutenant Hammer. You'll start at the NATO camp. You'll get him to the M60. Well, the M60's a Vietnam War era tank is the M60 Patton. There's actually one at... There's actually an inoperable one down at the... War Memorial Park near where I live. It's a, it's quite an impressive piece of machinery, but it's nowhere near as advanced as the Abrams we have today. Get into the M60 as the driver and take it to La Trinity. Quickly complete your training, then travel to Durden, where your commander is attempting to hold the town. So, our commander is attempt is attempting to hold a town against a against an armored onslaught, but we're going to take some time out and give you a little bit of training before we, uh, before we send you down there. You know, hopefully you'll do okay. Well, so much for my vacation. And this is my really, really horrible Billy D. Williams impre impression. Well, so much for my vacation. Looks like we're going to see some real action. 
Latest news is the guys have been kicked off the south of the island and the Russians are all over us. Not for long, though. The hammer is gonna nail these commie sons of bitches. And I'll be do- oh my god, the pun. The pun. And I'll be doing it in style, too. I've just gotta blitz through the last few bits of training, and they'll be- and they'll put me in command of my very own tank. After all these years on foot, it's the only way to travel. Let's check out those, uh, those training details there. We do appreciate your joining us at such short notice, Lieutenant. With things the way they are, we need every good man we can get, regardless of experience. Tank training consists of three elements. Driving, you have to drive your tank to La Trinity. Commanding, your crew will join you in La Trinity. Proceed to the training grounds. Attacking, there are some armor targets on the training grounds. You will be ordered to destroy them. During this exercise, you will be under the command of Major Sutherland. He will probably join you in your tank to see how you are doing. Oh, I get it. I know why he hasn't completed his training. It's because he was probably an infantry officer, and because they're so short of guys, they probably just threw him in here because, well, they need tank commanders. Ooh, and we have a new weapon for this mission, though we are probably not going to use it. The XM-177E2. Can I, can I see something about it? Okay. Essentially, this is the short barrel version of the M16. It's essentially one of the prototypes for the modern day M4. But unlike the modern day M4, which has a 14 inch barrel, this one looks like it's got the 10 and a half inch. So it's really, really, really compact. Alright, and we got some night vision goggles, but. Let's see, we've got a group. Okay. This is also our first mission leading our own group. Okay, I already know about this. The tanks drive just like cars. Okay, so... One of the interesting things about commanding or dry, or you know tank combat in general in this game is knowing when to turn in and turn out, especially if you have first person view only, because as you can see, I'm turned out here, I have a wider field of view, I can see better, I have better situational awareness than if I turned in. This is what I can see from the driver's position of this tank. And because we are not in any danger, we are just going to turn out for this, for this little trip here. Just throw it in. It's probably best if I don't use the mouse because the mouse is going to move my tank independent of where I'm telling it to go with the keyboard. Let's do some third person view. Cut down on some of that noise. I actually find having been in military vehicles now in later life, I now know that they really aren't that loud, even when you're inside them. Okay, now I can move my mouse, and it's not going to affect how I turn. Also, in, in this in this tank, in most tanks in this game, uh, there are a couple of different ammunition types. You have the Sabo rounds and the Heat rounds. The Heat rounds are high explosive anti-tank. And it's actually recommended that you use them against softer targets. Wow, that was a lot of 
to, uh, you know, some lag in a frame rate scenario. It goes down to like 5 frames per second for some reason. It's likely because I'm rendering a video in the background. I probably shouldn't do that. But you'd actually be surprised how... Miss the turn, miss the turn, drift the tank, drift the tank. You'd actually be surprised just how quiet military vehicles are. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, the secondary kind of rounds that most tanks in this game have are Sabo rounds, which are armor-piercing rounds. You want to use them against enemy tanks and hard targets. The high explosive rounds have a much higher uh, kill radius, but they're not as effective. Uh, there's also a Coax 7.62mm machine gun as well. Get down here and report in, soldier. Lieutenant Hammer, reporting for duty, sir. Lieutenant Nighthammer. Lieutenant Hammer, your reputation precedes you. I hope you manage to get here without demolishing too much en route. Now, I'll be with you on this exercise, but God help me, you're the commander. We'll see how you get on with some basic tactics. One, follow three. All, move to building, nine o'clock. Take us to the training grounds, Lieutenant. Left. Yeah, there are a couple of ways to command your tank in this game. Forward, left. Forward, left, forward, forward, left, forward, halt, right, halt, left, halt, right, halt. Yeah, this is forward. probably going to halt. Okay, here we go. This is actually going to get a lot easier once I actually am put in command of the guys in my squad. But uh, this is generally con considered... This is how I will play this, but that's just because for ease of use. This. This game is very, very difficult sometimes. It's a lot easier when... Oh! Attack! Target! We'll destroy all three targets. Move to zero. Eight. Okay. Eight, one, two, halt! Target, target, zero, eight! Let's see. Alright. Control left mouse button. Move to zero, eight, one, two. Halt. But I held control. Fire. All oh, attack target. All right. Target, target, zero, seven. So I take it control isn't actually. So I have to. Fire. Like hover this oh, attack, over there. target, and I can also give target target zero six movement commands with the left mouse. Okay. Fire. Cannot fire. Oh, it's because I have to wait for you to reload. Fire. Good job, Lieutenant. Move back. Oh, move to building. Nine o'clock. Next 
next waypoint. Move to two, eight, three, one. No target. All units, this is NATO Command Dorton. We have one, possibly more, inbound Soviet tanks. Urgent assist required. Russians in Jordan. My God. Looks like the training's over, Lieutenant. Oh! Move to box shot! Box shot! Four! Three! Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. See, there are two very important menus in Arma. One of them is the contextual menu, which you can access by clicking the middle mouse button. And if your mouse wheel worked, which mine doesn't, stupid Razor Naga, then you could go through these these little things here. And then secondly, there's the command menu, which is accessed via backspace or just hitting any one of your number keys. And then you navigate through that by hitting more number keys. And then also there's a little cheaty radar up top. But I think that's turned off if you play it on higher difficulty. Right now I'm I've been playing on casuals and you've seen how much I die simply because this game is very hard at times. And though I play Arma 2 pretty regularly, sometimes it's just easier for the LP, otherwise I'll have a mission. One! Follow four! Good to see you, Major Sutherland. The contacts were spotted near the beach. Keep formation. I'll lead the way. I'm right behind you, but be warned, Major. I've got a rookie in the command position. I know you're not a total screw-up, Hammer, and now's the time to prove it. Form line. One, engage at will. One, at ease. All, move to three, ten o'clock. Okay. Five, ready. Yep, I've already done that and told my guys to maintain formation, so... Now we're part of a squad, and I am the commander of this tank, so I can individually tell my tank to do whatever I want it to. But it's a lot easier to just uh, put it in stay in formation with the AI and focus on spotting and firing at enemy targets. Well, I'm not really firing at them, though I can manual fire. Which means if I click the left mouse right now, my turret will fire. And if I, yeah, and then it's just explaining to me how to use the vehicle radar. One o'clock, unknown, APC, 500. Yeah, I can zoom in. Eleven o'clock, unknown, man, 200. Contact. Four o'clock, enemy, AT soldier, 100. One, engage, BMP. Nine o'clock, enemy, soldier, 100. Ten o'clock, unknown, man, 200. BMP, one, two. Twelve o'clock, man, 200. Come on, come on. Reload. I've got it. No target. Twelve o'clock, enemy, soldier, 100. Go to One, two, engage, zero. machine Keep gunner. I wish I could just tell my guys to engage it well. I've got it. Soldier is history. One, target AT soldier. Eight. 12 o'clock, soldier, 200. Target soldier, one, seven. 12 o'clock, enemy, Fire. machine gunner, 100. 12 o'clock, enemy, soldier, 100. Machine gun. Fire. One, target, there machine gunner. Cease, fire, fire. Target, machine gunner, one, eight. Fire. There we go, we're getting target, target soldier. One, one, engage, eight. soldier. Fire. Soldier is history. Five o'clock, soldier, 200. One nine, one nine. Keep formation. Keep formation. 
AT soldier is history. Cease fire. Fire. Target soldier. Three, one. I believe with the machine gun. Move to three, one, one, seven. Fire. There we go. All oh, move to three, six o'clock. Soldier is history. Keep formation. Keep. Yeah, there's a lot of enemy infantry running around. I haven't spotted any tanks yet. Clear! Oh! Move to tree! Seven o'clock! Let's put in our Sabo rounds. If, uh... If we encounter another enemy, if we encounter another enemy tank, it'll be easier to take it out with the Sabo rounds, and if we get infantry that we need to kill, we can swap to our coax machine gun real quick and take care of them. Man, it sounds like something's just getting destroyed out there. Move to three, six o'clock. That's a dest destroyed BMPs. Man, where's that M1A1 going? We still haven't encountered that enemy tank. Under fire! Oh, move to one, two, four. I'm Clear. just gonna stay with the derpy AI. Oh, go to zero, zero, three. That 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 mission was kind of was kind of crazy. We didn't even engage any real armor. I'm surprised that Sabo round killed what I was what I was telling my guys to aim at. We got five kills, and I was just going like so. I was just trying to get the hang of what was going on and that sort of thing. And then I probably need to turn my mouse sensitivity off, as you could see. It was just kind of going all over the place the whole mission. And that's kind of how it's always been in the in the menus and stuff, but I should probably turn that down. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is the Night Hammer, signing off.